Welcome to the first of my Halloween makeup series. Today I'll be showing you this very dramatic cut crease eye and dark lips makeup look. Let's get started. Okay guys, to begin we're going to need our concealer brush and a concealer that is very creamy and about a shade lighter than your skin tone. And like usual, I'm going to start my eyes first before I do my foundation. I'm grabbing my small contour brush. And I'm taking this shimmery violet color which has a hint of pink in it. And I'm applying this into my crease, going all the way from the outer corner into the inner corner. Next, I'm taking this fluffy bent. Nope. Fluffy blending brush, say that three times fast, and I'm taking a light lavender color. I'm blending the top of that violet color, and I'm smoking it out a bit. I'm not going to bring it too far up so it doesn't touch my eyebrow. Next I'm going to take this stiff pencil brush and I'm going to pick up this purple color. I'm going to concentrate this right into my crease going from the outer corner all the way into the inner corner. Take that fluffy blending brush and blend out the purple color slightly. I'm taking this fluffy shader brush And I'm applying a matte nude color to my brow bone area. There it is. Now I'm going to take this deep plum color And I'm taking that same pencil brush and once again I'm going to work this into my crease from the outer corner into the inner corner. At this point we're just adding some more depth and dimension to our eye. Now with that same pencil brush, slightly blend that plum color up. Now we're going to take a white concealer and carve out the shape of our cut crease. 
I'm keeping the cut crease in my natural crease line rather than bringing it up and making it even more dramatic. Next, I'm taking this light pink rosy color with some shimmer in it and I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm patting that right on top of the concealer. I'm going to take the off-white color from the same little palette and I'm going to stick this right into my inner corner. Next, I'm taking this angle brush and I'm going into this dark gray charcoal color. I'm going to outline the top of the cut crease, adding even more depth and dimension. Next, with a moist towelette, I'm going to clean up the edge of the eyeshadow. Next, I'm just going to add a simple cat eye eyeliner and I'm going to connect it to the end of the cut crease. Without adding any concealer to the bottom lash line like usual, I'm just going to go in with that plum color and I'm going to smoke it out underneath my eyes. This isn't necessarily supposed to look so neat, it's going to just look really smoky. Next, I'm just adding some white eyeliner to my waterline, and I also added some white shimmery eyeshadow in between the two wings. Now I'm just adding some mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. Um, if you decide to wear falsies, you can go ahead and do that. So I just applied my foundation and now I'm doing some contouring. If you want to see a more in-depth video on how I do my summer foundation routine, you can click on the link on the screen or you can click on the link down below in the description box. Last but not least, the lipstick. Now your look is complete.
go out there and have the scare of your life, and I'll see you next time.